Hey, this is OXDF. And today we're looking at configuring VS Code to handle debugging of PyTest. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I've got my terminal set up here and you can see, so like I've done through day seven of the, uh, I'm doing the 2016 advent of code as part of the 2023 revival of code challenge. Um, if I open up my day seven, um, if I come up here and hit F5, um, you'll see it pops up and it says like, what's your configuration gonna be? And typically I just click, you know, Python file and I move on. And uh, you can see it opens up a separate terminal down here and it runs this kind of launcher command that runs my file and, and spits it out. And I can do things like put a breakpoint here at the, let's, not, let's do it uh, under git babs. And if I put F5 now, it's gonna run it again, but this time it stops here and I can come over here and into the debug console and type S to see what it is, et cetera. Uh, so I can run Python here. Um, this is awesome. What it doesn't do is it doesn't allow me to run my tests this way. So if I come back over here and do uh, test day seven, I come here and hit F5, um, it's gonna run that file, but nothing's gonna happen. It doesn't actually run my tests. I don't see the test results. Um, if I put a breakpoint here at test part one and hit F5, um, it runs, but it never hits that breakpoint because that breakpoint, nothing executes these functions. Um, so I need I need a way to run the PyTest module. Um, so we're gonna look, come over here to the uh, run and debug tab, and we can click on create a launch.json file. And we're gonna do that. We'll start by just doing what we just did, the Python file. And so we've now created a launch.json that says, you know, run the Python current file. Um, the, the Python thing, we're going to launch it. Uh, the program is file, so that's the current file. Um, and then, you know, just some other configurations. And so if we look up here, we have um, Python current file right here. Um, we actually have Python, this gets generated also when I picked that configure earlier, and I don't exactly know where that's stored, but this one's coming from this right here. And so what I can do um, is I can add a configuration. In this case, we're gonna pick Python again. We're gonna pick module. Uh, and the module name is PyTest. And it makes this second configuration for us. And so let's call this, um, not Python module, but PyTest. If we save this, now when we do this drop down right here, we can see PyTest shows up as a configuration. And it's gonna launch PyTest. And so if I um, move this over to PyTest and I hit F5, uh, we are going to run. And so you can see we're actually running all of the different, you know, desk, each, each of the different days tests are running. And day day five is a good example of actually why that's not really what I want to do because day five takes a good 30 seconds to run. And um, you can see it eventually completed and here's all day seven, right? Um, what I want to be able to do is actually launch the Python. Well, I'll say this. If I was just working on a project where um, the project had a bunch of tests, it might be common for me to want to just run all the tests every time. And so this might be the perfect configuration for that. Um, because I'm working, my overall project has a bunch of days in it by the end 25, presumably, and I want to just run the tests for each day independently. What I want to be able to do is just pass that in as a file or pass in just the folder to work on. So um, PyTest takes args, so we can pass in args here. And the args would be uh, an array like that. And now we get to put what we want it to be. Um, so we could start by doing something like, um, uh, we'll have to reference the current folder. So work space folder, there it is. We got the workspace folder and we could do, if we want to just like say like just run day seven. Um, oops, I need that inside the parentheses. Let's get rid of that. So now like we do this and we hit F5 again. Um, now we ran, oh, we didn't, did we not save this? Oh, did, no, we didn't pass this. It's supposed to be args. That works. So we hit save. Let's uh, control pull that. If we hit F5 now. You can see, well, it's actually saying we don't, oh, can't find the folder. It helps if I don't make typos. F5. And now it just ran the day seven. And so that's pretty good. That's, but I don't want to have to come in here each day and change this. So what I really want each day is if I'm hitting F5 to run tests, I want to be able to run it presumably from the folder of the current file. And so there's a, there's a neat um, thing here, a page that gives me all the predefined variables that Visual Studio Code gives me options to. And the one I want here is relative file dir name. And what that'll let me do is say, uh, let's see, come down here, we can say uh, relative file dir name, and we don't even need dir day seven, and now we can just run this. And so now I close this and I come here, and I'm on day seven and I hit F5, uh, we're gonna run day seven tests. I can run it from the file or from um, the test file, either way it works. If I come over here to day two and open up day two.py and hit F5, 
uh, now you'll see my day two tests ran. And so I actually get to run the tests that I want to run. Um, and then the last thing I was going to show is just we can now, so let's say we're running day seven, uh, and we want to take a look. We're confused because uh, the parsed input doesn't feel like it's working the way I want it to. So now if I put a breakpoint there and hit F5, um, it's going to run, and it hits this breakpoint. And so now I can come here and I can say, oh, like, well, what, what does the parsed input look like? Um, I could write more detailed tests, but you know this is a good way to just start playing and saying, oh, what do I have here? And so here I have ABBA, Kirst, and you know what, what, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can see I can actually see that parsed input. I can continue. Um, I can run it again until the next case and see, oh, now it's different, uh, presumably. Uh, so, but this allows me to play around within the tests and see what's going on. So um, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you learned something, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.